Hi everyone, welcome back to Black Desert Online. And we're going to continue our quest in uh, Calfion City. So first we'll uh, activate one of these uh, buffs. Just wanted to use that one because it's just taking up bag space. Okay. Talk to the Black Spirit. Silent confession. What? Why do they demand a confession for sins that don't exist? What are these people prattling on about? I think our tour of the city is done for now. It looks like someone has been waiting for us outside. It seems pretty urgent we should go and check it out. Okay, let's get on the horse. Go and find out who it is. finally found you. Let me introduce myself. I am Sekia. The finest herbalist in all of Florin. I'm also close to Alina Late. Ah yes, where was I? Oh yes, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was looking for you for some time. Your tour must have taken you all over the city. The late family calling? Anina Late is looking for you. It looked like she wanted to say something important. Have you finished your tour of the city? We should head back together now, quickly. Okay. So we can go and visit uh, Alina Late in her office. here. Nice office by the way. It's very fancy. My loyalty always leans towards the people. Ham sandwich, you're finally here. There is something you ought to know. But first I must ask you a serious question. I need an honest answer. Is Lady Isabel someone you can trust? The good deeds of Sister Norma always inspire me. People are the ones who judge whether someone is honest or not. An incomplete faith. Recently there have been rumours that Heidel have been procuring funds for armies to gain independence from Calpheon. Where will these funds come from is a matter of debate, but one thing is for sure. There is no possible way that Heidel could have procured these funds themselves, especially after losing the war. You're right, this would be impossible without the support of the Zion Merchant Guild. Despite the circumstances, I do not wish to be suspicious of them. The Leighton and Karosha families are bound to one another by the Zion Alliance. On the other hand, think about why Lady Isabel has yet to return. Think about this very carefully. Did you actually see any cuts or wounds yourself? The late family is looking to your potential with high hopes. However, if the Zion Merchant Guild is ever found to be supporting the Heidel Rebellion, do you think you can really trust Isabel? Let's go, yes. One action. Is worth more than a thousand words. Okay, speak with Enrique in his office. Yeah. Off we go. <laughs> My horse can't fit through here. Might have to leave him behind. 
Enrique, buddy. Well then, how are you planning to capture my attention? Ever since Isabel said she wasn't returning, a few things would have gone the way they have. I have been here for too long, it's starting to make me ill. Do you have anything that would pique my interest? Power games? When we first met at the Kalis Parliament, I could see in your eyes that you were not one to deceive. Isabel really was wounded, wasn't she? All of the other families probably believe that what you've told them to be the truth as well. But you must remember that this is Calpheon though. This is a place where constant power struggles occur from behind the scenes. You will quickly fall prey to the endless backstabbing and scheming if you show any signs of weakness. It is no secret that there are many who do not like the idea of someone like me sitting in the parliament. Someone who wasn't born a noble, yet has managed to amass such power within the family. Much time has passed since Gaius Eric's reign ended. The public will not last forever. With everyone vying for top positions, the weak will never stand a chance. They will be the first to go. So what do you think, hero of the Zion Merchant Guild? Do you really suspect we in Karosha family to be responsible for funding the Grand Chamberlain of Heidel? If you want to earn money, shouldn't you be willing to risk something? Okay, so now we go back and visit Alina Light in her office again. Back onto Silver Blaze and off we go. If I can get through the doorway. <laughs> Alina, buddy. My loyalty always leans towards the people. I do not wish to deny your words or that of Enrique, however, it seems all suspicious suspicions have pointed towards the Zion Merchant Guild. Ham sandwich, there is a possibility you may not be forgiven for your recent undertakings. This is in regards to having helped the Incarosha family and spending time with Lady Isabel. I wish to make a proposal, henceforth from this moment on. I want you to become a member of the Late Merchant Guild and forgo your ties to the Zion Merchant Guild. The good deeds of Sister Norma always inspire me. The Merchants of the Round Table. If things continue the way they have, the citizens of Calpheon will believe that Heidel is preparing for war with the backing of the Encrocia family. People won't become aware of this just yet, but they soon will be. Considering the circumstances, I believe you have no other choice but at this point but to accept my proposal. If you accept this offer and choose to work with us, you'll not only break free from this mess, but also come closer to riches and fame. I shall also support you in becoming a noble one day as well. Take some time to think this over. Please remember that this is not an order or an attempt to force you into submission. You and I are simply two merchants sitting across a table from one another. By now you should have come to a conclusion on which side is the wiser choice. of the people is most certainly welcome. If you understand what I said, then leave this place. It would be a good idea to leave Calpheon for a while. And get away from all these complications. The late family promises you your safety. Coincidentally, we just so happen to have some work for you outside of the city. Go southeast once you leave the city and you will come across a small town called Keplin. 
Once there you'll find a precious resource known as Black Crystals. Currently a rival merchant guild has the rights to the Black Crystals in Keplin. But we are going to take those trading rights back. And of course when I say we, I mean you. <laughs> of course you do. Go there and speak to the Black Crystal dealer by the name of Greco for more details. I will ensure that the current issue with the Zion Merchant Guild does not worsen while you're away. One action Alrighty. is worth more than a thousand words. Black Spirit. Seems like everyone around wants to acquire your services. The right thing to do, don't ask me. In my eyes, they're both just arrogant, pathetic humans. I suppose there's nothing you can do against people in high places though. Nothing but bend to their will. I still don't understand how humans can live together in a group. Since there's nothing we can do about it, let's head to Kaplan. gold bar from the citizen bank 1 million silver credits spellbound toolbox let's crack this open and have a looky inside magic lumbering axe yeah not bad and chop some wood let's have a looky number two Magic Butcher's Knife. Okay. So I guess that'll do for this episode, and uh, we'll pick it up next episode, and we'll head on to Kaplan. Uh, but for now, thanks, and bye for now.